Two weeks ago, I briefed the media and testified in Congress that our immigration system was at the breaking point. That breaking point has arrived this week at our border. CBP is facing an unprecedented humanitarian and border security crisis all along our southwest border, and nowhere has that crisis manifested more acutely than here in El Paso. On Monday and Tuesday, CBP started the day with over 12,000 migrants in our custody. As of this morning, that number was 13,400. A high number for us is 4,000. A crisis level is 6,000. 13,000 is unprecedented. On Monday, we saw the highest total of apprehensions and encounters in over a decade, with 4,000 migrants either apprehended or encountered at ports of entry in a single day. That was, that was Monday. Yesterday, we broke the record again with 4,117. We are now on pace for over 100,000 apprehensions and encounters with migrants in March, with 90% of those 90,000 people crossing the border illegally between ports of entry. March will be the highest month since 2008. The arriving flows are made up primarily of Central American families and unaccompanied children. These groups cannot be repatriated expeditiously and instead are almost guaranteed to be released to remain in the U.S. indefinitely, regardless of the merits of their immigration or asylum claim.